Did you know that Indiana, my birthplace and ancestral homeland, didn't only give rise to John Cougar Mellencamp and a little ditty about Jack and Diane, it's also a mecca for warm beer. In the Hoosier State, it is against the law for convenience in grocery stores to sell cold beer. No wonder my dad was always so grumpy at family picnics. Room temperature suds, that's a surefire way to make any gathering of kin more likely to end in gunplay. Of course, it's not just Indiana that has incredibly stupid and punishing booze laws. As Colorado, Washington State, and other places around the land of the free start legalizing pot, it's the perfect time to repeal the vestiges of alcohol prohibition that went into effect even before Woodrow Wilson had a stroke. In Pennsylvania, with only a few exceptions, you can only buy beer, body temperature naturally, at wholesalers, and you have to buy it by the case. In New Hampshire, the live free or die state, you'll have to die before you can freely buy beer. You can only buy alcohol at state-run stores. Man, even the Soviet Union was more liberal than that. Bloody Kansas kept alcohol prohibition in place until 1948, and to this day, you can only get 3.2% beer at convenience stores. Oh, thank heaven for 7-Eleven, not in Topeka. All throughout our purple mountains majesty, there are more laws regulating the buying of booze than of sex toys. The Hoosier State may get a shot of sanity with a beer chaser. The Indiana Petroleum Marketers and Convenience Store Association is suing to finally sell cold beer. Beer drinkers want choice and change, but most of all, they just want a cold brew in hand to drown out Johnny Cougar's Jack and Diane. For Reason TV, I'm Kennedy.